even some top religious leader. I, I've just read in the news a few days ago. I said, what? Cannot he see the truth? No, looks like they're all blind. And the top politicians, some of them, I thought, my God, how come they don't see anything? How come they talk like that? I'm astounded these days. Seems like everybody has become blindfolded. All of a sudden, truly like that. You read some of the news. Maybe I did not even collect that because I just shook my head. I said, my God, why did he say such things? Cannot he see it? No, it's like they are blind, like the whole flock of sheep or something together or blind together. He's a kind of one of the top religious leaders. And he's criticizing President Trump, for example, but he didn't mention the name, of course. But it's completely illogical, completely opposite of the truth. And I was so surprised. I know many of them are not enlightened. But the thing he said is worse than... It's just like some of those politicians outside, without seeing anything correctly. Like, suddenly they're all blindfolded together. Oh my God! I just was so surprised, so shocked. <sighs> it's truly the time of, of, of demons that they have to, to do all this and testing everybody. See, you must have faith strong, otherwise you'll be blind, deaf and dumb as well. Just like Adam, hey? Yes. Yeah. Born from God, made by God live next to God and still fail. And then God gave a second chance, come back and attracted to the diamond. <laughs> God. And thinking the diamond can help him survive all his life, he doesn't have to do anything. Once you're out of Eden, you're like everyone else. You have to sweat to earn a living. You have to fight with the negative influence outside, if you could even fight. In Vietnam, we say, a strong tiger could not defeat the whole uh, a pack of, of wolves. A tiger is supposed to be the king of the jungle, but he's alone, even though he's the best, the strongest, he cannot defeat the whole pack of wolves. That is similar to our world like that. If you stay with the same-minded community, do the same thing, have the same ideal, look in the same direction, then you're stronger. If you're out, then it's different. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. All right, now we go back to. <laughs> uh, I promise I'm coming back now. Okay? And we left the Eden for too long already. We can't come back, but we can talk about it. Uh, we can be uh, like homesick about it. Okay, now here. In the beginning, when uh, Adam first had been driven out of uh, Eden, he and Eve could not get used to the new and also very harsh kind of life. Yeah, now they have to plant vegetables, they have to plant fruits, they have to pluck the fruits, they have to harvest the vegetables, etc., etc. Yeah, God has ordained that. So they were very, 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 very uh, miserable. It was very harsh for them, very hard work, hard life. In the Bible, it doesn't mention this kind of situation. But uh, we humans can understand, can imagine that, right? Mm? Yes. We humans, we live day to day with this kind of hard life. We still cannot bear sometimes. Not to talk about the holy beings like Adam and Eve, made from God's hands, used to paradise. Everything they want, they just have. Except that apple, of course. <laughs> Except the apple in the middle of the garden, don't touch it. Yeah. Then they have to. Typical humans, no? Mm. <laughs> Whatever you're told not to do, you want to try. Yeah. Even though you know it's bad. It's just the ego. Ego. Mm. Yeah. But this is also fine. Suppose if you have some urge inside you, some inventive kind of uh, surge, that uh, develops within you and you just want to do it, you want to try it, then it's okay. Otherwise, I think humans will not develop so many things like what we do nowadays, what we have done, inventing many things and going to the moon, going to Mars, even though it's a hard and almost an impossible dream. 
Before, nobody could dream of going to the moon and all that. Now they're going to Mars and then Venus next. They want to see if really there's life on Venus. How much evidence points to it. Maybe they could find it. Venus! <laughs> Mars! 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 They're coming to get you! You better prepare the vaccines. Okay? Any vaccine, all the vaccines. They have all kinds of diseases on this planet that you have never heard of. You better be prepared. If they go there, they will find you. Good luck. I'm worried for them, you know, truly. I'm worried, knowing us, knowing the humans, how they are. I'm worried, worried so much for them. All right, good luck. Uh, Pray, yeah, you, Venus, and most people. So we, the humans, will surely know the hardship and the uh, feeling of uh, desperation and misery from Adam and Eve when they were first kicked out of Eden and had to become normal beings and had to get used to the hard life. In here, the book says that even though the Bible doesn't mention about the hardship that Adam and Eve had to endure, but uh, humans would understand, would imagine, would know it. Because uh, many places in the Bible, for example, that have been edited, deleted, and have been filled with other stories. Yes, yes Master. Like uh, ancient stories, or folklore, or people stories, or just fiction, or something that you cannot even believe in. So this is one of the stories that we cannot It's from the book, okay? One of the stories that we cannot confirm, we cannot prove, but is uh, circulated since a thousand years, like this. After being driven out of Eden, Adam and Eve built a little hut, and uh, both of them contemplated for seven days, non-stop, to repent for their sin that they have committed and the mistake that they had done. After that, after seven days, Adam stood up and went all over for seven more days looking for food. In Eden, he didn't have to do this. You see, there's a big difference. In this time, I think they have not done the farming yet. They have just been out of Eden and they sit there seven days long, repenting, regretting and praying. And then after seven days, probably hungry, yeah? The retreats <laughs> over hungry. So he went all over looking for food. He had not found anything to eat because his uh, main profession (laughs) uh, before and it's uh, probably the first ever profession, occupation of all humans is gardening. So he found only dry hay and dry grass which are reserved normally for uh, animals. So he suggested to Eve that both of them have to do more penance, more repentance, and hope that God will forgive them one more time. For Eve herself, she went into the middle of the Tigris River. She stood on top of a rock, and the water rose up to her, her neck. She stood there, not speaking anything, for 37 days. This is the legend, okay, that circulated since thousands plus years. And Adam also stood up, stood like her, but in the middle of the Jordan River, of both the different rivers, for 40 days long. On the 38th day, Eve saw Satan and was cheated by him, yeah, deluded by him again. He, Satan, manifested himself into a being like an angel. And Satan came and begged Eve to come with him up to the bank of the river. And then he will find something for her to eat. Uh, Eve could not withstand her hunger. So she left the water, went to the bank. And at that time, she immediately realized that this was Satan. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Eve went up to the river bank. But at that time, Adam realized, recognized that 
this real entity was Satan. So he yelled at Eve. He yelled loud at her. He said, how can you let yourself be fooled by our enemy one more time? Huh? So Eve could not withstand this mistake again. She, she could not feel comfortable again. She felt very, very bad and sinful, guilty about this second fall by temptation. So, so painful. She felt so painful, so guilty, so bad, so bad. So she fainted, like uh, fell down on the ground. Oh. <sighs> Poor Eve. She's only a woman, you know, weak physically also, yeah? Physically, women are weaker than men and smaller, the size, always the same. But I wonder why God, God made a woman from a man's rib. I wonder how big is a rib? <laughs> Even if we are small, but how big is Adam's rib? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Adam must be like 100 foot tall. Yeah. <laughs> and his rib must be your size or my size at least. Yeah. I'm small, but this is a big rib. <laughs> I'm a big rib. <laughs> so I wonder all this story. Yeah, but of course, with God, everything is possible. Yes. I have to look into camera again. I keep looking at you guys. You're so, so attractive, my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no wonder I'm sitting here, not in Eden. Hmm. All your fault. Okay, now. And you're all wearing masks. Imagine if you don't. Huh? <laughs> yeah. That's because you're vegan, huh? Eh? People cannot take the eyes of you, right? <laughs> yeah. That's what the animals told us every day, no? Yeah. <laughs> On our TV. Yeah. <laughs>